Nerd. <laughs> And if you're new, what's up? My name's Danielle. Nice to meet you. Subscribe down below. Today I'm here with a special guest, Griffin Arnland. Hi. And today we're doing a huge back to school video. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Back to school can be really fun, you guys. So it can be fun if you do it right, like we did. Like, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean. So, anyways, on my channel, I'm gonna be doing 10 school life hacks on how to just kill it in school and just different things yeah. about you know everything. And then on Griffin's channel, we are doing teen versus child you back to school. It's like comedy skit, all that fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. So yeah, if you want to check that out, I will have the link down below to her video and all of her social media. Subscribe to her channel. I love her. We met on the garage photo shoot Thank in Montreal, you. Canada. We had so much fun. We're like, we're literally the same person. So we're going to film a video. Yeah. And so we did. It's going to be great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started with the video. One of my favorite back to school hacks is making your schedule, your background on your phone. Trust me guys, this has saved me so many times. Let me tell you, it saves you from being that awkward person on the first day of school, walking around with a piece of paper, telling you where all your classes are because I know that's me. Nerd. <sighs> what class do you have? English in 305. What about you? Spanish in 201. But this is me. I'll see you okay. later. See ya. Okay guys, listen up. If you can't imagine dropping the mic after your final sentence of your essay, your conclusion needs to be stronger. Another hack for you guys is remembering your locker code. I know this one's pretty simple and easy, but you can also use this type of lock. It helps you so much because if you twist the wrong way with the other kinds, then you're basically guaranteed to not get in your locker. So a hack for making friends at school is just simply going up to them as if they're already your best friend. You'll feel more comfortable and they're already kind of getting a sense for you, not the whole awkward, hi, how are you? What's your name? You know what I mean? Hey Griffin, I love your shirt. Thank you so much. Yeah, what are you really cute. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm just like writing out my schedule for the day. True. Who's your science teacher this year? Um, Miss Brown. Nice, I had her last year. She's, she's pretty cool. Yeah? Pretty chill. Yeah. I, like, I don't know, like, I've heard mixed reviews, you know? Yeah, sometimes she can just be, like, really nice, and other days she's like, no, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so yeah. You guys know I always use a planner, but I'm telling you guys, this is one of the best and easy hacks. Take out a planner, take out a notebook, whatever, and physically write down your day, and it helps you remind it in your head so you're not forgetting certain things, and it just helps you to know what to do for that day. One of my personal favorite hacks is using perfume while you're studying and then using that same perfume while you're actually taking the test because there's something about just having the same scent while you study and while you're taking the test that just helps you remember it so much better. I have a Spanish test. Before you take a test or an exam, make sure you write down the top five things that you're worried about forgetting and it's proven that you will remember them easier while you're taking the test. Instead of using google.com to search things for your school, for homework, for an essay, use scholar.google.com and you will get things more related to the topic that you're searching, not just Wikipedia answers. If you want an easy breakfast, there's scrambled eggs in a mug, which is one of my favorite go-tos. I make scrambled eggs in a mug with my microwave, I just spray the mug with some cooking grease, crack two eggs in it, and then add whatever you really want. I suggest shredded cheese and a tad bit of milk. I microwave it for 45 seconds, take it out, stir it, microwave it for 45 seconds again, take it out, stir it, and then you're ready to go. It's a quick and easy, simple fix for breakfast. There you go. Might be hot. <laughs> Is it good? Milky? Delicious. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had so much fun making it for you guys. Make sure to check out what we did on Griffin's channel. We did teen versus child you back to school. So much fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if any of these back to school life hacks helped you. And yeah, we'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys. Bye.